innate in the name of Banlaslow is the meaning of hospitality and welcome. Translated from the Gaelic language, Bealohana Slua means mouth of the ford and hosting of the crowds. True to our name, we wish to welcome you as a grateful host. Banlaslow and surrounds has a population of approximately 7,200 people. Not only are we a gateway to the west of Ireland, Banlaslow is surrounded by ancient historical sites and other places of interest. This small video is an invitation to you to explore some of these wonderful sites. Ben the Snow train station is on the Dublin to Galway rail line. The station opened the 1st of August 1851. The railway station was designed by George Wilkinson and is a fine example of a Tudor style building. The station is part of significant social and historical significance. It was built as part of the Great Midland and Western Railway which linked remote areas of Irish countryside to important ports and settlements. The original Abbey of Clontuskert was founded by St Brendan, but there are no remains from this 8th century period. The present remains are of the Augustinian Priory of St Mary and were founded in the 12th century. The original Priory was burned in 1413 and the present site is a reconstruction following a fire. The domestic buildings were on the southern side and the nave and the church of the cloister still remain. A wonderful Franciscan Abbey on the outskirts of Banlaslow was founded in 1353 by William O'Kelly, Lord of Iwanya. Kilconnell Abbey survived an attack from Cromwell and his troops in 1650. The monks left the Abbey in 1690, but the church remained in use until the 1780s. The ruins of this Abbey still remain an impressive sight. As you approach the abbey, an impressive looming tower greets you. An ancient and highly decorative tomb survives with many arches, naves, aisle, and medieval carvings which grace the church. The burial grounds of this outstanding monastery are still in use today. Shannon Bridge is a village, an ancient elegant bridge in the parish of Clonmacnoise, about 10 miles from Banlaslow. It was originally called Rakra. It is the connecting bridge between the counties of Roscommon and Offaly, and it straddles the county of Galway. The name of Shannon Bridge was taken after the building of the bridge in 1757, and it is one of the oldest bridges on the Shannon. The bridge displays some of the finest viaducts in Ireland. The 16 arches are testament to the fine engineering and stone masonry of the time. Clamagnoise was founded by St. Kieran in 544 AD. In the 9th century, it became one of the most famous monasteries together with Clonard in Ireland. Many of the kings of Tara and Connaught were buried at Clonmacnoise on the banks of the Shannon. At the close of the 7th century, a large number of bright students and professors were wiped out by a plague. However, the period between the 8th and 12th century shows a great period of growth. The monastery was attacked down through the centuries by the English, the Irish, the Vikings and the Normans. In 1552, an English garrison looted Clonmacnoise and left it in ruins. This site still retains the ruins of a cathedral, three high crosses, seven churches and early Christian grave slabs. The interpretive centre and historic site are worth a visit. This prayer 
wonderful little church is at the heart of the old monastic township of Clonfert of the 16th century. It was also known as the Clonfert Madonna Church because of its extraordinary history in relation to the wooden Madonna. The survival of the Madonna following the mass destruction of religious objects is inherently related to the importance and devotion of Mary, the Madonna, mother of Jesus, down through the years. There are many folk tales attached to the Madonna, but one local tradition believes that the Clonfert Madonna was discovered in a tree trunk by workers felling trees. The historic Madonna takes primary place beside the main altar of the church, where thousands of pilgrims come to pray each year. St. Brendan the Navigator founded the Clonfert Monastery in the mid-6th century. The monastery became a thriving centre for learning and it is believed that there were 3,000 monks based in Clonfert. It was at the mercy of many Viking raids and the only concrete evidence of the monastery is the 12th century St. Brendan's Cathedral. The church displays a magnificent Romanesque doorway and brown sandstone decor. It is a delightful piece of medieval architecture worth seeing with many fascinating features inside such as a fine 13th century east window, a 15th century arch decorated in angels, a 15th century stone card font and a gravestone inscribed with Celtic lettering and other welcome surprises. Another important feature in front of the doorway is a marked gravestone of St. Brendan's grave. Many may not be aware that Meadig Church is the oldest Irish Catholic church in continuous use since 1414 AD. This beautiful ancient church and sacristy are still in use to this present day in the Franciscan Abbey. Papal permission was given to the friary in 1414 by John the 22nd. The last friar of Meadig Church was Father Bonaventure Francis Reynolds, who died in 1852. However, the church is still functioning under the auspices of the Clonfert Diocese.